Welcome to another adventure. So it is the end of the day. Today started at 4 a.m. for myself and probably a little bit earlier for the big fella over here to be out at BCH. Uh, boy, I think we cruised in the gate a quarter to six, something like that. And then um, we got to our camp at about 6.30 and stepped off at quarter to seven. So it takes about two hours to get in here when you're, when you're coming right up the back. Um, so it's a bit of a mission, um, and it's been a very long day. But we're going to take the rifles for a walk and um, hopefully bump into a couple of ferals. <laughs> I can tell you there's been a couple of scopings and um, a couple of bot shots and a couple of, and a bit of miscommunication, but there's been some animals hitting the deck, so it's going to be a good one. Thanks for watching. They're not going anywhere. I'm 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 good. Are you can you see? Looks like you scoped yourself a bit too. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was planning on that. See, I got excited. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is going to be a bit of a touchy subject uh, for a couple of um, you horse lovers that are probably watching this. But they are a feral pest out here um, in the Litchfield National Park. They're a hard hooved animal. Yeah, they might not wallow, but they still do a bit of damage. So we're happy to kind of take these off the National Park. I know a couple of people might be a little bit upset about it, but um, at the end of the day, we are taking a bit of meat off these guys. Apparently horse tastes pretty good. Alex has had it before. I've never tried it. Um, so we'll take the back straps off this fella as well. We're about eight Ks in, so we're not gonna be able to take any whole legs out or anything like that, but a couple of backies and um, we'll see how it comes up. I've heard pretty good things. So yeah, I don't know. Try not <laughs> to, uh, hopefully you don't mert. Hopefully you don't crucify me too much in the comments for it, but um, it was pretty good. These guys are about 40 meters, so pretty easy shooting really. Um, I had a bit of a, I had a uh, quartering away, almost kind of a half Texas heart shot. Um, that's the entry hole just there. So I think Alex was lucky and had a full broadside shot, but um, yeah, both, both expired very quick and they are pretty cool looking creatures, but that's it. And that is about all I'm going to show you guys of the butchering because otherwise YouTube will get sad about it. So, yeah. Anyway, backies are coming out. Let's get closer and give Jace a good shot. Oh. Alex, he's shooting. What's going to say again? Yeah, no, 
he was counting. That was two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to see any buffalo because we're shooting every 200 meters. Well, there we go. The boys have just domed a, a nice pigeon pair of, of horses. We've only gone about 200 meters since the last pair, so I don't know, we're kind of getting rid of a few, few critters at the moment. Turning out to be a productive gully, this one. This is where we shot a couple of buff uh, two or three weeks ago out of a mob of about a dozen. So, yeah. Get a few picks and we'll keep going. See what else we can find. G'day guys, uh, Jace here uh, from Rowie's Adventures. Um, I spotted this one about 200 metres back, give or take. Um, we were able to sneak up, get to within about what 80 metres and then uh, let some shots fly. This uh, little pony went down pretty well and yeah, she's gonna make a tasty little snack later. Yep, back straps are coming out of that one too. And Alex's second one over there as well, that was headshot so be able to get a couple more back straps out of that so plenty of steaks coming home that's for sure anyway do a bit more butchering and a bit more walking so i've just come or we've just come to um collect the caps off the buff that we shot here i think it was two weeks ago me and alex um and we're showing jason where it happened as well just so he's got a kind of a rough idea in his head if he ever comes out without us but two two buff and right here is a pig bed. It's gonna be kind of hard to make out on the GoPro, that slight little depression there. One, two, three, four, just under all this pandanus here. Uh, five, under this group of trees here. Yeah, they've also dragged that carcass about three meters. Um, the gut pile and stuff where all the grass is is just there. Uh, six pig beds, seven, and this is a big one here. Hopefully you can kind of make that out. I know it'll be hard on the GoPro. Number eight, and there's pig crap all through it. So, I mean, one, two, three piles of pig crap just here all around the same age of, of when these um, buff would have been decomposing or, or freshly decomposing. And you can see the teeth marks on the inside of the skin there. So I was hoping to get out here a bit earlier and try and check these. Um, prime time would have been about a week after we shot them. I think, I can't remember if, if it's been two or three weeks now, but hopefully these pigs are still in this gully just bedded down somewhere with a fat belly anyway we'll keep walking get a load of this wallow just here look at that mud trail that goes right up the center there craziness there's a super thick bit of bush just up here it's a bit swampy we're just gonna go have a walk through that we've just been kind of going each side of this little creek line here and fortunately the wind's pretty crap again so it's not the best but I think uh, we're still in for for a good chance of a pig or, or a buff, so we'll keep going. Back one's mine, back one's down, back one's down. Back one's down, don't worry about him. That back one's down, don't worry about him. Well, we were hooking through this swamp trying to find a pig and it's kind of uncharacteristic and it's kind of uncharacteristic of horses to be in kind of wet ground, but they were. So Another group of two, just looking for my pack at the moment. 
But um, yeah, another group of two. I think there was a little bit of confusion, so the back one might have gotten away, unfortunately. Um, the front one copped a few rounds. But uh, I suppose it's not really all bad. Another feral hitting the deck. Just done it. Oh, there it is. I've walked clean past it. So yeah, we'll go up and, and have a look. I've got a feeling this one's going to be pretty shot up. Because uh, all three rifles hit the same horse then. So, <laughs> see how we go. Bit of a blood trail. It's just kind of going to go across this gully here. and That's where he's piled up about maybe 60 max. This is number five for the day, and uh, number six is Alex's just up there. But a um, bit of miscommunication on this one, we, we kind of all piled it on the same horse, and then Alex managed to get the last one, number six, on the run. So good shooting on him. Um, this fella copped two in the chest, so he only ran about 50 metres, maybe. Um, yeah, Alex made it about probably 70, so both pretty good shots, really. and. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about shooting horses. I'm sure some people will probably have a bit of a an opinion on it, but they definitely do do damage, just not as bad as buff, I suppose. And yeah, they're not entirely going to waste. We are taking a bit of meat off them. I have heard good things about it, so we're going to get them well. But yeah, number five, number six up the hill. We'll go go show you that one. All uh, right, after a little bit of communication on. A little bit of miscommunication on that one. Uh, you would have seen Ben's that got double tap. That's why he didn't go real far. And then uh, a rapid reload and a quick hit on the run. And I got this follower as well. So a uh, bit of a blood trail and an easy find. He didn't go too far. So. Dead piggies don't exist. <sighs> Must have been an escape farm, bro. <laughs> well, hopefully this turned out pretty good on the footage. Um, he was at like five meters, <laughs> just kind of perched up like that, still as. I kind of looked at him and was like, that's a pig, but I'm like, I think it might be dead. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, well, I'll turn the GoPro on just in case it squirts and that characteristic beep, beep, beep from the GoPro got him on the trot. He ended up making it about another five meters into the pandanus there and just kind of turned around because he maybe he wasn't sure what I was, but um, took a pretty bad shot because all I could see was kind of the back end of him. So I've just hit him through here, which is which has pulled him up pretty quick. A 300 wind mag on a pig's gonna pull him up pretty much as long as you hit enough of him. So. That's what I did, and then I chased him in the scrub for about another five, 10 meters, and, and you guys saw the final result, and uh, that pulled him up. So some people will probably laugh at this, but that's my PB ivory. <laughs> um, Alex is, is pretty good with a knife, so he might um, take the jaw off for me, and I'll, I'll take it home and, and uh, boil it up and, and make it look all nice and pretty, because, um, I don't shoot many pigs, this is only my second pig. So I'm absolutely wrapped with that. This is um this is better than a buff in my book. For me <laughs> anyway. Some people will Yeah. You ripper. So we're just kinda making our way back to the car, contouring a ridge line and following a gully. And 
I'd say there's probably butterfly hatchery. Yeah, close to probably around 200 butterflies just here. Hopefully the GoPro is picking it up. It kind of sucks at picking stuff like this up, but it looks absolutely unreal. And um, about two and a half k's this way is where we've shot a bunch of buff before, so. Still definitely in the game, even though we're walking back to the car. So we'll keep boosting. But um, yeah, this looks gorgeous. That is it for this one. We have uh, made it to the track. Probably won't be able to make Alex out. He's about 50 meters down the road. He's uh, gonna go and get the ute while me and Jace look after the gear, all the heavy stuff. Um, I'll give you a look at what I ended up carrying out. My um, my PB ball, which some people I'm sure will laugh at, and then the four caps from a couple of weeks ago. So I was a little bit heavy on the way out, but uh, I reckon it's going to look really good when I want to put some work into them and they come up. So definitely worth the effort. I think. Overall, it's been a an absolutely bloody good day. Um, I'll bang some numbers up on the screen right now. I think I think it's going to be high twenties um, for how far we've walked. So so uh, it's definitely definitely not for the faint-hearted, but you know you do the K's and and you get the results really. So. I didn't get it on film either, but we ended up spooking a mob of four or six pigs. Um, I saw two really good ones that were way bigger than my probably 50, 60 kilo boar and a um, couple of smaller ones that were probably about 20, 30. So unfortunately, they were onto us. I was just kind of talking smack with Alex and um, yeah, they took off from out of the creek before we kind of even got a bead on them. So. Can't win them all, I suppose, but yeah, six horses, uh, my PB ball for a day in the bush. So I suppose there's, there's worse ways to spend a day, really. So yeah, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Hopefully there's not too much hate in the comments for us taking a few horses today. They are ferals out here. They are wild. They are clean skin. Um, and they are taken under a feral animal control program. So... Anyway, as always, really appreciate any likes and comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.